Hey YouTube, welcome back to Jerry's NBA Talk TV. I'm NBA Jerry, and thank you for watching. I just want to talk to you guys real quick about the uh, upcoming NBA season and also uh, what you can expect from Jerry's NBA Talk TV. Um, I'm NBA Jerry. I, I host this show, and for some of you guys that are new, <laughs> uh, you know I've been getting some notes, and people think that uh, all I do is talk about uh, life lessons and in the mind and being positive and you know all those things well you know I, i've been doing a lot of that because it's been the off season okay so if you're new to my channel and you weren't with me during the playoffs uh, i will focus more on the nba now of course i'm going to talk a little bit about you know bettering yourself and giving you some life lessons but i'll do a little bit of that you know during some of the videos so we'll see about that but i'll definitely be making a lot of nba videos but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this season. This is going to be a tremendous NBA season we got coming up here, guys. I was just watching on NBA TV. I was watching the New York Knicks training camp. And I don't know if you guys heard about it or saw this or not, but they have a new technology, the New York Knicks do. And I think they're the only team that's, that's using it. But basically on the back of their jerseys, there's a little little pouch thing on the back right above their numbers. And at first, when I first saw it, I thought it was like a uh, thing for a microphone or something like that. But uh, it wasn't for that. What it what it is is it's a it's a device where you put it in there, and what it does is it, it measures uh, the person how fast they're running or how much they're running and how much they're jumping and stuff like that. And it goes back to the computer and somebody's monitoring that. So, in other words, if you're a player and you're in practice or in training camp or something like that there's somebody always monitoring you see how much you're moving so that right there I mean that that's that's ridiculous that's crazy I mean there's no just walking around and not jumping because you gotta definitely be playing hard for Mike D'Antoni or you're not gonna get in the game so and the Knicks look pretty good you know they 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 definitely look like they may be able to make it to the playoffs but We'll see about that, but it's definitely going to be exciting. I wanted to talk to you about what you guys can expect from Jerry's NBA Talk TV. Uh, basically, I'll be making videos every single week. I'll be working hand-in-hand uh, -hand with the correspondents from each team. And also, um, you know, I'll be talking about the entire NBA. Uh, like I said, in October, when the 30 Teams and 30 Days Special is over with, I'll be announcing the winners of the, uh, you know, the 30 Teams and 30 Day Contest, the correspondents. Also, I'll be doing the top five players at each position in the NBA. I'll be doing my power rankings, and I'll be doing different things. Now, to all you new people that haven't or weren't with me last season, I had a series called Jerry's NBA Question of the Day, and I will definitely be bringing that back. But I'm going to add a new flavor to it. Um, I'm going to ask you questions about the NBA, and these questions I'm going to ask you, you can't just Google these questions and get the answer. They're just opinionated uh, questions and opinionated answers based on your opinions and uh, I'm gonna do several different types like for instance one of them is gonna be called uh, asset or liability now if anybody doesn't know what an asset or liability is basically in money terms an asset is anything that puts money in your pocket and a liability is anything that takes money out of your pocket and I'm gonna ask you about a certain player and I want to know, based on his contract and his numbers and his performance, is that player an asset or a liability as far as their respective teams are concerned. Also, I'm going to do a, a series with Jerry's NBA question of the day. And it's going to be called Name Bigger Than His Game. And there's some players in the NBA right now that, that their name is bigger than their game. And what I mean by that is, say, for instance, you got a player that is really, really good in college and he was pretty good his first couple of years, but you know and he, he made a name for himself but uh, you know his play isn't matching up with his name or vice versa he might not have a big name but he has a big game so I'm gonna ask you guys I'm gonna say hey is this player's name bigger than his game or his game bigger than his name and we'll do things like that so we're gonna have a lot of fun but I have a lot of different questions for you guys like I did in the playoffs so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it so if you guys have any questions for me or anything that you guys want me to cover let me know like I said, it's not going to be all, you know, self-help stuff. We're going to talk about a lot of NBA subjects. Uh, you know, the preseason is going to be starting here next week. Very, very excited about that. There are going to be some teams going overseas to be playing. And then, obviously, the season starts October 26th, and I can't wait. 
And also, uh, I know you guys know about uh, NBA 2K11 coming out October 5th. Uh, I have decided not to buy that game. Because if I buy that game, <laughs> I mean, that game looks so good that if I buy it, I, I probably won't even be making a show. I mean, it's so good with all the Jordan stuff and the My Player stuff. So I have decided not to buy it. Um, I was just talking to Chris Smoove online. I was, uh, we were texting back and forth, and we were talking about the game and stuff like that. And I just, I think I'm just gonna watch his videos and watch you guys' videos because if I, if I, like I said, if I get involved with that game, I, I won't even have a life, man. So, and it's just got so many different features. And also on the flip side of that, if you guys haven't heard, NBA Elite 11 has been delayed until 2011. So. If you guys don't know about that, look that up. So that's going to be uh, very interesting. But like I said, this this season is going to be going to be very very interesting. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I have a lot of different topics I'll be covering before the season starts, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, if you can believe it, you can do it. And remember, folks, always, always treat people how you want to be treated, and everything will be okay. This is NBA Jerry, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.